Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. Uh, man, I think Wonder Studio AI is living up to the hype. Uh, initially when this came out, it seemed like you now it was too good to be true, but now as more and more uh, beta testers are coming out with new like videos and testing, man, it, it looks amazing. <laughs> you know, there's still some issues, you know, around like when you look at the masking like you can see the feet of this uh you know robot like you see the original footage on the bottom right hand side and this is uh, a game from ssk he's my new friend now <laughs> i claimed him <laughs> he's doing he's done such amazing work in demonstrating some of this work and I, I love showcasing some of the result but you can see the gloves are on top you know they are not being masked out properly and that's a challenge even when you're doing just uh like rotoscoping or any other video but the, what's amazing is the motion capture file itself, right? That comes out of it. The way that this, like on the left, top left hand corner is the actual 3D model composited on top of uh, the footage, the original footage. But look at the speed of how well it's able to keep up, right? And for any motion capture system, to be really effective. effective. There are some things that are really important. One is that, you know, if you definitely need hand and finger capture. That's why you see like the uh, Excel suit and uh, minus gloves work together because they, there's a, an important part that, you know, it's very difficult to capture hands in like, <laughs> It's and it's one of those tedious things that you have to do when you're doing character animation, and I know animators out there know what I'm talking about. So, to see a system that is actually able to track the fingers and the hands and the body of the character together is amazing. It really is amazing to see that, and then to see the result, you know, of uh, the actual footage of the, a user. Actually, this is in real time, right? And so <laughs> seeing the nuances, like the finger, like the way the hand is bending, the fists, you know, that to me it, uh, it says that uh, a system is going to get better and better and it is very robust. Now, there's some issues that you can see, like the belt of the uh, martial artist on the bottom right hand is not cut out properly. And also the shadows. So the shadow is not replaced because that still is the shadow of the gentleman who is in the was doing uh, martial arts down at the bottom that would be great if you could actually replace the shadow but that's i think that's asking too much <laughs> maybe down the road as the system is maturing i think more than anything for me as a motion capture artist and someone who does a lot of uh, test with motion capture suits uh, even with basketball like i just did a, a dunk video using move.ai so to see the quality that they're able to get and be able to still now it's important i would be really happy to get like tracking for the basketball itself like props so that props can be uh, you know because right now from the system with the way I, at least what i've seen so far it seems like you can track the body but uh props i've not seen examples of uh, props being tracked just yet right so that's what i'm looking forward to like to see like this basketball being tracked and the soccer ball being tracked as well. Like I would like to see the system be able to replace that basketball with a 3D model of a basketball. Like, cause in the, system, the demonstrations that I've seen from better testers, they're able to select the actor, uh, several actors. If it identifies that there are multiple actors, then you can select the actor that you want to use and then drag and drop the character from the right hand side. But now it would be great if the prop could also be replaced with a basketball. So if, so if we're going back here and you can see how the system tracks the fingers, right? And uh, let me see if I can actually close this. Let's go down to some of the other features that I, I wanted to talk about. Uh, so here, that's the hand mockup. And then the facial animation. I think this is gonna be really, really important in terms of uh, like seeing, let's see, and I go back. Yeah, like this is where you're able to pick the different characters and swap them out. But the face, you know, I, want, I haven't seen any examples yet of facial animation for the from beta testers. I'm looking forward to seeing that. And also the advanced retargeting is really important. Being able to, doesn't matter the size of the character, you know, it's you're able to swap out the model 
and <laughs> be able to scale fk so those are things that i'm looking forward to seeing more and more of and of course the lighting and compositing that's the part i mean it does a good job of compositing but i think the shadows are still lacking in terms of like the ground plane you know and i hear that uh, there's a, a version that's coming out that's going to replace the environment so you're able to swap out the environments and then so this body mocker part is what i was referring to today is, uh, the the ability of this system to be able to just track really well you know this requires very little cleanup so because you're able to actually extract the mockup and save it as a separate entity you can, you can save the model separately and also as a blender file but that's amazing <laughs> so cool right so again thank you guys uh, for joining me today do please pay a minute to subscribe and do please uh continue to support ssk as he does these uh testings and uh, i'll continue to share what if i uh, comes up with a really cool thing and i'm hoping that ssk uh please do a test on the facial animation <laughs> i'm trying to live up uh, like uh vicariously through ssk as i wait for my you know approval for the beta testing but this is amazing work and this system is only going to get better and better and better, better. Yeah. and as more and more features are added uh, i think it's going to continue to grow right so so amazing so these are the different passes that you get you get the character pass you get an alpha pass you get a clean plate right so the clean plate as you can see you, there's like a blurriness like where the character was but it's still doing a great job of uh, separating it and that is awesome because then you can color grade the background plate and then you have the camera track as well that's amazing and then you're able to get a blender file of the scene so this will be the 3d character and then the final render so the system does the final render for you so now I, if you these are the passes is when you want to like do the work yourself right but you could uh it's it's rendering online so i believe uh, this is going to be using gpu rendering it's incredible <laughs> from the very top being able to extract the motion capture file getting a character pass by the character by himself and then you can color grade that as well and then an alpha mask right the but the reason i like the character pass is because then you could essentially have like a, this character pass on a green screen take it back into the system right as footage and then just swap out so you get away uh, you get rid of those uh, like blurriness trying to compose it with the background and then reintegrate with a clean plate and you can even go in and clean uh, this up if you want to but then you also have the camera track which is amazing <laughs> and then the final blender file now i'm hoping that they will provide not just a blender file that other you know files that you can like maybe maya or 3ds max or you know cinema 4d you know that is cool because i want to be able to take it to other you know compute or rather programs uh to be able to do my own rendering because i, I love rendering with octane render that would be fun but it would also be good to have like a, a like an unreal engine file right so you can compose because the ultimate the ultimate goal is to continue making short films but i think they want to make this so that you can do this in the browser that's why they're calling it considering this is like a, like a production studio in the browser everything is here but i want to have a little bit more control so i'm glad they have this correct this plate and so grateful to <laughs> this team what they're doing so we'll continue to test and see you know how well we're able to you know create short films and so many other beta testers are starting to share their you know results and i can't wait to test out myself now so ssk thank you so much again for continuing to share with us uh these tests and uh please guys spare a minute to go and uh, subscribe to his channel and continue to support him but this is amazing 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 thank you so much and uh bye for now